Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to install and set up PHP on Windows. So PHP is actually pretty easy to set up. We basically just have to download a few files and we're actually gonna have to modify something um, in our Windows computer and then we should be able to have everything set up and ready to go. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And the first thing we wanna do is just head over to our browser. We're gonna go ahead and download something. And I'm actually over here on this website, it's called php.net. So it's a pretty simple web address. And over here, there's gonna be an option for downloads. So we're gonna go ahead and click downloads. And you'll see over here, there's a bunch of different options. Uh, we wanna click Windows downloads because we're on Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And now over here, you'll see that there's a bunch of different options. Um, this is gonna be the latest version of PHP that's gonna be available. So in our case, it's 7.1. Um, and what I wanna do is basically pick the version that's appropriate for my operating system. In my case, I have a 64-bit operating system and I'm gonna choose this thread safe version. So if you have a 32-bit operating system, you can uh, pick this guy up here. In my case, I'm gonna pick this one. And you'll see here there's an option for a zip file. So I'm just gonna click on this and that's gonna go ahead and download this zip file. And this zip file has all the files that we need to start using PHP. So when that is finished downloading, let's just hop over to our downloads folder. And you'll see here we have this zip file. So what I wanna do is I actually wanna extract this. So I'm gonna go ahead and extract all the files that are in here into a, another folder. So I'm just gonna click extract all. And down here, I basically just wanna type in the name of the folder where I wanna store these. Um, in my case, and just for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna go ahead and just store these at the root directory of the C drive and I'm gonna store them inside of a folder called PHP. So I'm basically making this folder here, PHP, and I'm gonna go ahead and extract all of these files into that folder. So um, once we've typed that and I'm just gonna click extract, and this is gonna go off and extract all those files into a new folder called PHP at the root directory of our C drive. Here's the thing, if you wanna put them somewhere else, you can put them somewhere else, um, but to fully follow along with what I'm doing, you can put them at the root directory of your C drive. All right, when that's finished extracting, you'll see that it opens up this PHP folder here. So here I am on the C drive, and over here we have our PHP folder, and in here there's just a bunch of files. So you really don't have to worry about any of these files. Um, obviously don't touch any of them or modify any of them, but as long as we have these here in this folder, then we're ready to go. So we have everything downloaded, now we have to do one more thing, which is called configuring our Windows path variable. Essentially what this means is we have to tell Windows that PHP is inside of this folder. So eventually we're gonna want to run PHP and use it and use all of its functionality. And in order to do that, we have to tell Windows about it. So we basically just have to tell Windows where we put PHP. So down here, I'm gonna go in my search bar and I'm basically just gonna start typing in environment. So E-N-V-I-R-O-N. -N. And this option over here should pop up. It says edit the system environment variables. This is what we want. So we're gonna click on that and this should open up a window where we can configure our path variable. So this window is gonna open up here. There should be an option down here that says environment variables. You wanna click that. And over here, there's going to be a couple different options. We wanna go over here to this where it says variable path. So wherever you see this path variable, I'm just gonna click edit. So we wanna edit this variable. And basically this is just a Windows system variable that kind of tells Windows where a bunch of executable files are. So what we wanna do is we wanna tell uh, Windows about PHP and we can do that by telling Windows where it is inside of this path variable. So I'm just gonna click new over here. And then down here in this little uh, typing box, we can just type in capital C colon backslash PHP. So I'm basically typing in the location of the folder where I extracted all those PHP files. So once we do that, we can just click OK, and that's gonna go ahead and be added to the path variable. So I'm gonna click out of this, click OK, click OK over here. And now we want to make sure that that worked. So once again, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go down to the search bar and I'm just gonna type in CMD this time. And this option over here for command prompt should show up, so you wanna click that. And the command prompt is basically just a way that we can interact with the computer using text commands. So down here in the command prompt, the first thing I'm gonna do is just type in echo, percent sign, P-A-T-H in all capitals and then percent sign. And this is gonna go ahead and print out that path variable. So we wanna make sure that the entry P 
PHP is in here. So we want to make sure that that folder is showing up there. As long as it's showing up there, then uh, we were su we successfully updated the path variable. Now the last thing that we want to do is just uh, check to make sure PHP is working. So I'm just going to type in PHP hyphen V and I'm going to hit enter and we should get this version number popping up for PHP. So as long as you get a version number popping up here and you're not getting any errors, then you've officially installed PHP on your computer. And believe it or not, that's actually all we're gonna need to get started writing PHP and building an awesome website. So um, stick around for the next tutorial and I'm gonna show you guys how to get started creating your first PHP file. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.